celebration. Are you guys excited about hearing about Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and finally being able to step into the galaxy of Star Wars? I am so glad you're excited because we are so excited to be able to build this for you, our biggest Star Wars fans. So excited to share with you today some new things, some things you guys are going to be hearing first. We think that's appropriate because you guys are our biggest Star Wars fans. We want you to hear these things first. Sound good? So let's Who else is so excited about having a place, a planet, no less, to live out the adventures we've always imagined? Me too. And I have so many questions, and again, I have not gotten the answers I've wanted, so after my call to Bob, Bobby I, uh, I was able to put a panel together of experts that will give you the answers to all of my questions. Let's put our hands together for our panelists, folks. The Mark Hamill of his generation, Scott Trowbridge. Asa Kalama. Margaret Harrison. Doug Chang. this panel this is so exciting yeah well we're going to give you that opportunity not just to fly on the millennium falcon to become the flight crew to you know to, to kind of take those controls for yourself and really take the this the fastest ship in the galaxy on a customized truly interactive mission um it's truly a lot of fun and i've i get to actually fly the falcon sometimes so i know that it's actually a lot of fun i'm sorry i didn't i know you don't want i know you're so angry right? i know i know all right but that's not, a, so we, we actually shared previously, maybe some of you have seen this before, a little, bit of a, a little bit of a taste about what it's like to be in that cockpit and to flip those switches and to take those controls. Maybe we could actually play. You guys wanna see it again? Let's see it. Okay. Let's do it with subwoofers. So opening later this year, we have another big attraction that's part of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It's called Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. Oh, yes. Yeah. And it is the most epic. It is the biggest. It is the, 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 one of the most complex attraction experiences that we or anybody else has ever built. So if you go outside of the village, go outside of Black Spire Outpost, in the forested area, in the remains of the ancient ruins, as we often do, that's where we find the Resistance. And they're encamped there. And they're looking for new recruits. That's going to be us. But because it's Star Wars, not everything goes according to plan. And we might even find ourselves prisoners of the First Order and captive on board a Star Destroyer. I know. And if you've ever really been on a Star Destroyer, it's not a lot of fun. You want to get off that Star Destroyer, and that's what, exactly what we're going to do. Um, you know, and, and, and because of Star Wars, it is going to be epic. This is the biggest attraction we've ever built. It is filled with... I've heard rumors that there's like a, an extravagant amount of time that you spend in this attraction, like a minute and 30 seconds. Or it's more than that. It's more than that. Because it should be epic because Star Wars, right? Yeah. That's why we're going big with this attraction. Um, and so, li listen, I don't want to give it away, but you know, you're going to face the First Order. You may even come face to face with Kylo Ren. I didn't say it. You did. Oh. And if you can survive that Ray, encounter. Just shake your head yes or no. Poe? Oh, yeah. BB 8? Oh, I let's cannot wait. There, yeah. Okay, let's stop there. So, yes, all of those fan favorites. Admiral Akbar. <laughs> I've got some bad news. <laughs> Too soon, Josh. Too, Too soon. soon. Sorry. I've got some Too bad soon. news. Just, no! As Josh storms off the stage in tears. Okay, all of those fan favorite characters are going to be there, and if you can survive this encounter with the First Order, if you can survive an encounter with Kylo Ren and make it back to the planet in one piece, you will be celebrated as a hero of the Resistance, celebrated throughout the land. Can't wait to share this experience with you later. Uh, when we open later this year, but we also made a little teaser video for this experience as well That kind of sets the stage for what's about to happen right before we get there in Star Wars Rise of the Resistance Let's play that video
And you know one thing, another question you didn't ask, but I'm going to ask. We've actually uh, been working with a partner of ours. Almost four and a half years we've been working to bring something new, something exciting to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. It's going to feel familiar, but very, very authentically Star Wars. And instead of me actually telling you about this... Do we have a video? You said more picture. More. you managed to cast to the ship um, and it's it, it's an important uh, it's important that you uh, do what you can to bring the ship back in good working order Hondo uh, Onaka is a is a very he's, he's a phenomenal boss but he doesn't take too kindly to those bringing his ship back in uh, in rough shape oh uh, I absolutely love Hondo Onaka that Dave Filoni had done a long time ago. He'd always sort of wondered what Hondo might look like when he's older. And so working with Dave Filoni and uh, the amazing team uh, led by Neil Scanlon, we were able to bring Hondo from animated form uh, into real life. All right, I hope you guys have something to show us. Yeah, ab of course, absolutely. So what we'd love to roll for you now is actually a, a clip of the uh, Hondo Onaka, the boss man himself of Onaka Transport Solutions. Yes, yes. Hello, hello, my friends. I am Hondo Onaka, and this is Onaka Transport Solutions. Today, I am offering the opportunity of a lifetime. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and gunners to defend the shipments. And that is where you come in. That's insane. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's the kind of thing you would want us to do. That's crazy. I love that you guys couldn't just call him on the phone and say, can you go to a recording studio? It, it really is insane. And, and I truly, and you can, you can testify to this, I did stand in front of the Millennium Falcon and I started to cry. And I, and I genuinely, it could, it, there was a lot of pollen in the air that day, but it, it genuinely is, I think, you've given all of us a gift that I don't think anybody's fully prepared for. And I just want to thank you all. I cannot wait to go back, get on these rides, which I did not get to do, so don't get, come at me with pitchforks yet. Um, but to experience this when it opens, um, and promise me, promise all of us, that this is just the beginning. Uh, it absolutely is. You know, as I said, we have a lot of Star Wars stories to tell. There's an unlimited number of places we can go, characters we can meet, adventures that we can become a part of. We're, we're so glad that we're able to make Black Spire Outpost um, the launching point for, for not only those stories, but for your story. And we're so grateful for the opportunity, the time you guys spent with us today, because I, I, I want you to know, I'm kind of getting emotional now. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I have a warm hug. Um, <laughs> Thank you. How about another so, kiss on the cheek? Yeah. No. No. Oh. Okay, sweet. Thank you, Josh. So, you guys... What? <laughs> hopefully, you guys, I want you to know how much love and passion we're putting into this. Because we're, we're, we're Star Wars fans. We represent an amazing collection of other Imagineers and our folks that are at the parks. Actually, because they care so much about the fan base, the leadership of of Disneyland and Walt Disney World are in this room with you right now because they want to spend time with you guys, the fans. They're here somewhere. That's how much we care. <laughs> 